there welcome back to my channel this is Diana with the paper pineapple and today I'm going to be working on week eight in my project live 2022 album um, I have my pictures already pre-printed here I do own a selfie printer and I actually love it because without it I wouldn't be able to have my pictures when I want them so I highly recommend one of those I'm going to be using um, a paper pad it is um, fairly older paper pad, but I'm going to go ahead and use what I have on hand. It's called Girl's Rule, and I figured it was just suitable for documenting my daughter's um, cheer competition this past weekend. And so I'm going to be using a little bit of the cut aparts that come with that. I do decide to use Get It Girl. I couldn't decide if I wanted that one or if I wanted This Girl Can, um, but I opted for uh, Get It Girl. So I do cut that out. Um, so if you have a couple of paper pads laying around, use those. Use use the paper, use what you have on hand, and make pretty things with them. Um, I'm really trying not to um, spend anything. Um, just really trying to use what I have on hand. Just like they say, shop your stash. You have tons of pretty papers, embellishments, and stickers, and just why not use them? So um, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a few papers from this paper pad. And um, I do have a couple of uh, two by, I think I do have two two by two pictures that I plan to use for cards. And then the rest are all three by four pictures. Um, so, and then what this other um, um, printout that I did was from, it was actually a screenshot. I don't know if you guys um, knew about um, the Happy Tuesday because everything was twos February uh, I believe February 22nd of 2022 so everything was in two form um, so I just screenshot that and decided to print that out and put that in my album and then um, next to that is a picture of me at specifically at 2.22 p.m. so I was actually in line to pick up my, my kiddos from school so <laughs> Um, it is a whatever picture, but I documented that. And then I did use a front page app, and it is um, just a front, uh, just a picture of a picture of a um, newspaper, um, the whole war between Russia and Ukraine. It is so sad, and I just um, happened to um, use that app to document that um, scary times. Um, that is very worrisome for us, for our family. We're actually a military family, and my husband, I'm not sure if he's going to, well, he is scheduled to deploy this year, but not sure if anything's going to come up because of this. So I am praying that nothing comes about that. Um, I really do hope that, um, you know, that gets resolved and that we're praying for the people of, who are suffering in the Ukraine. So um, very, very troubling times, people. Um, so, um, I did happen to put that in my album, um, and so I just picked up a couple of papers from the paper pad, and I did end up putting, using these Studio Calico cork circle stickers, and I ended up using the amper stamp to put next to a picture of my husband dozing off with his Frenchie Sophie. She is always, um, she seems like she always eats and sleeps, that's all she does all day. <laughs> My husband really loves that about her. So um, she always loves to, to cuddle and snuggle, and so that's that's their thing, and I thought it was cute and wanted to document it. Um, so this weekend, this past weekend, we ended up going, my daughter and I had our first gr solo girls trip. Um, just her and I drove down to Anaheim. Um, her, her cheer squad um, qualified to go to nationals, and um, so they were able to compete. There were so many schools from all over. Um, it was really nice and really neat to see everybody um, get together. Things were a little different because of COVID, but um, we were still happy to be able to be present to cheer our girls on. They did really well, and we're so very proud of them. Um, I'm going to use some stamping. I'm using um, one of Kelly Winnell's stamps, the Love Labels. I absolutely love the stamps that I use it so much. So you can see my stamps are kind of a stain there and I just took out my um, my uh, Misty 
I always, you know, it's funny because this whole time I've been calling it my mini Misty and it's not a mini Misty. It's just the regular Misty, <laughs> but it is awesome. And I do highly recommend if you're one of those who fear stamping because of, um, not being able to stamp correctly or, you know, um, repositioning, this thing will solve your problems. I definitely recommend. I do have a, uh, video, um, about my review on this. I'll go ahead and Try to link it in the description so that you can take a look at that. So I usually do stamp my things twice just in case if I mess up and like I know myself already. I didn't like what I, I jot down the first time and so I ended up taking out my roller, my uh, rolling state stamp, um, my rolling date stamp, sorry, <laughs> can't even talk, and uh, decided to put that in there. That is um, the Pretty Pineapples um, card club meeting. Um, it is a little card club that I've made put together with a group of my friends and it is awesome we get together once a month and we do challenges and we do a card swap and at this time we have grown to 10 members and it is awesome we really do enjoy card making and the socializing and the friendshiping and it's just so awesome so I had to put that in there um, and then this other card here while I was away with my daughter um, my husband stayed home with the boys and the puppies and all, you know, held the fort down. And while I was away, my, my boys learned how to ride bikes. And so my youngest went six. And so for him, it came so easy. My husband said that he just held onto his bike and he just took off. And my oldest, um, he is, he had been struggling so much. He would just try and then he would fall and then he would give up. And so it's taken this long for him to learn how to ride his bike, but finally it's done. And they're so happy and accomplished and I couldn't be prouder. And also while I was away, my son Eli found out he has a loose tooth. So all of these things happened while I was gone. So I was really, um, surprised that so much has happened in one day. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm just stamping, uh, one less thing for, I'm trying to, uh, document the two by two picture of my daughter and her squad, um, competing. I did capture a couple pictures that they took of them and I wanted to use, um, I ended up using this, um, in a creative bubble four by six everyday life stamp. And I used a stamp that says right now, and I could have cut around it, plus I cut around it, but I not really great at fussy cutting circles so I just used the next big circle that I had I'm probably gonna pri probably purchase a different size a smaller size than a bigger than a one inch and I just used that I know it looks kind of weird but I'm just leaving it as it is I'm okay with it um and so then I'm just gonna pick a couple of more um, another piece of cardstock I want to add some journaling into those spots there and I just pick a pretty yellow um, I feel like it complement the other side because it has, it has yellow triangles and there's yellow in the Happy Tuesday. And so I'm going to use that for some journaling. And on the pink side on there, I have some journaling as well. So I went ahead and uh, printed out my journaling. And um, here I'm cutting them so that they fit in those 3x4 pockets. Um, uh, one is documenting just, you know, of the girls' competition, and my boys learning how to ride bikes, and Eli's loose too. And on the other side is um, my husband and I go on weekly date nights, and um, we were. I was just documenting how we met um, a couple that was sitting next to us. They were a really nice couple, and we just hit it off. And so I think we made new friends. We exchanged phone numbers, and we're hoping to hang out with them soon. So I thought that was really neat. You just never know. You meet people every day, and. You never know when new friendships can blossom. So yay to new friends. Um, so here I'm just using some um, enamel dots from um, the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to go ahead and just add this um, star. These stickers I actually got from the Dollar Tree. Your stickers don't have to be expensive. You can just purchase this anywhere and just use them to embellish in your uh, pockets. Don't be afraid to... Um, use all the things and then I decided I wanted a staple and I cannot find my staple from my Tim Holtz mini attacher so I just used like close to my heart staple stapler and it has colored staples and I used um, some pink staples I thought it would complement it well since there's a lot of pink in these layouts and um, and then I just put that in there and so the journal is on that side journaling on this other side 
and I decided to put a little star also from the Dollar Tree and I felt like that complemented it well. So this is it guys. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you. And I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Bye. See you guys in the next crafty video. Thank you.